Welcome to another episode of the Bourbon Experience. And what we're doing today is we're gonna do a comparison. We have the Rittenhouse Bottle and Bond Rye right here. And uh, we are going to compare that with the OHLQ, which is Ohio, uh, the, the governing body here in Ohio. And Thumbs up their asses. Thumbs up their asses. And this is their private select barrel uh, state pick, uh, is what it is. So basically, in a nutshell, yeah. a, uh, uh, a state pick. Uh, it's a barrel pick, yeah. yeah. So, by um, the governing so body. By the governing yeah. body, right. right. So, well, um, so Rittenhouse, it's a great budget rye uh, so this this uh, was a leader and I think it ran me between 25 and 30 bucks for being a bottle and bond so you got four years on the rye for bang for buck really really good stuff and then we're just comparing to see if the state pick is better yeah and if it's worth the extra five to ten bucks for yeah. for the bottle so which uh, one's more expensive the state pick? Yeah, state the state pick's gonna be more. Yeah, definitely. Oh, it's probably gonna be worse. Yeah, well, it's That's good. what I'm putting my money on. Oh, are you? Is yeah. that what, is, so we, you're, you're doing a preemptive guess? I'm just assuming because the state doesn't know what their ass from. Tell us <laughs> <laughs> how you really feel. <laughs> and we got Adam back with us, so Hi. there you go. <laughs> Hello. The government doesn't know what they're doing. Okay, yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm on board. Yep. Okay, All right. so, so this is the regular. On the, on the left. On the left, yeah. The regular Rittenhouse Hunter Proof. Yeah, so produced by Heaven Hill. Mm. So. We did know that. Yeah, we did. Uh, we, I forgot <laughs> we did know that. We that did. Known. It just had to take Too some reading to yep. remember. All right, yep. It's definitely fruity. It's like a fruity bouquet. Yeah, there, there's not a it's, spearmint, like a heavy spearmint. I, I'm not getting any more pan. <laughs> no marzipan. One of these Never days, gonna live that down. One of these days, no, one day, like, we need to go taste yeah. marzipan. That, we just, I, I haven't like just itself. I'll go buy oh. some marzipan and we'll taste it. No, but. it's like, uh, it's like, it's an almond flour dessert. It's, yeah. So, yeah, it definitely We've has like about an almond, it. almond. Uh, We've talked about it, but I just almond sweetness or something to it. It's like almond icing, almond flavored icing. See, I like that. I like, I like almond. Well, I do too. Um, this is. No, not a, whole, not a whole lot of spearmint in this, no. in the nose or the flavor. Um, <clears throat> uh, is, I, that your, is that your new catchphrase? Spearmint? Spearmint, it is, I know. <laughs> I gotta ride onto something, right? Yeah. Caramel. <laughs> it's gonna be oh, okay, I've used that one too much. Yeah. There he is, beating that dead horse! Oh, yeah. Vanilla, no. No. It's like catchphrases in corporate speak. Yeah. <laughs> It's like, mm. hey, why don't you? There's uh, so much synergy in this whiskey. Right. Hey, you, you know, again, I, I, I'm not getting a my normal rye. I get a spearmint. You know, I get that dry nose or dusty nose is what I usually get with a, with the, with the rye. And and this definitely doesn't smell like a rye. It doesn't. I, I this has got to be a low mash bill of a of a rye. Yeah. It has to be. Well, and it, it, it's definitely. If, if you are wanting to dip your toe into rise, this is one to go with. There's a yeah. there's a nice complexity in there with some of the caramels. You you get a little bit of this rice spiciness, uh, but you mm -hmm. don't get the high spearmint. You don't get the high dill that a lot of rice typically come with. It's a nice introduction to it. Uh, yeah, I, I'm. So it's like a it's like a baby rye. I'd call it. <laughs> yeah. And I don't mean that well, in a mean way, but no. it's like it's definitely got like a, well, th this, less of a rye. Th this is like on the same steps of um, Wild Turkey 101 rye, where yeah, okay, it, yeah, it's, yeah. It's a great yeah, introduction to it. It's a nice proof point. It's, yeah. it's lo higher than mo than most, you know, regular proof point. But you're going to get something just a little bit more with. I, with, I know you're not an old-fashioned guy, but I wonder how this would. Oh, I bet that would be amazing. Uh, I, I bet. I bet it would be. I. I. For, for me, I don't. I typically don't like bourbons in an old-fashioned, in, in comparison to rice. I this agree with that. This has got. This has already got kind of a, a fruity mm -hmm. base to it now, which pairs very well with the old-fashioned, obviously, because the the orange slash lemon. Whatever you want with it. Use. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I've seen even some people use like pomegranates. I don't I have, know yeah. if I advise that, but interesting. <laughs> yeah, I've seen that too. All right, well, let's go with the second one here. Let's give it a, give it, again. This one is a state pick. Uh, it is. Look at you. It's uh, all, all there the same. with your little St still bottle and bond. Yeah, story. it's still bottle and bond. <laughs> doing I, your little magic. I, I know, isn't he? I know. He, he and Alex <laughs> are doing that stuff now, and they think that they're special. Like, oh yeah, yeah whatever. Yeah. I sure am. Something special. 
See, I get a little bit more of a dusty nose on yeah. this one. The, the, this one's a little bit more aggressive in the nose than I, but aggressive in a good way. Mm. Yeah, it's got some nice legs. It's it still pretty much smells like the other one. Mm. I'd say the fruit is muted slightly more. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's I think it's spicier. Uh, a little it bit, is. A little, little bit more of the pepper on the front, and the middle of the tongue. Yep. Oh yeah, okay. Tames, tames as it goes down and down to the back, where you get more of the caramel, kind of the, the, those fruity esters in the back. L uh, lasts longer. It's got a better like, mouthfeel. It's like a caramel peach. In the oh middle. yeah. Oh, I think it's like peach. on the on the back. Oh okay. It's definitely got a better mouthfeel than this one does. All right. Uh, I don't know if I agree. You don't agree with that? Uh, well, you're wrong. Well, that's. <laughs> <laughs> he says so. <laughs> and we're professionals. <laughs> Cocaine is a hell of a drug. So, this one tastes fruitier on like the the up the the front side. Mm -hmm. Whatever you like when you first sip it, it's definitely fruitier. It's got less spice. This one's spicier. It lasts longer. It's definitely got on the back end. It's got a caramel peach kind of kind of taste to it. Yeah, I got the like caramel. Like when it's coming back up. You yeah, know, like the the vapors that you get. I yeah. don't get the peach. I get the. I definitely get the caramel. But you know, but marzipan. Get well, <laughs> spearmint. <laughs> uh, well, uh, again, Nathan was talking about you know easily found uh, Heaven Hill distribution. Uh, Heaven Hill product, uh, and <clears throat> I mean we can find this on the shelf anywhere in Ohio. This one's just the the Euro, you know, is there? You know, I think they do as an annual release yeah. in, in December. Yeah. So, um, I, I'm glad I had it. That's the first time I've had that one. Yeah. Which it's, which would you prefer of the two? Um, overall, overall, the lasting of the flavor and and the mouthfeel, I'm going to go with that one. Although I understand why this one's nice because it's fruitier, you know, it's a, it's a little yeah. bit more smoother, I would say. I think over. this one's more approachable. I would definitely pick this one um, oh, yeah. just to, to have something to sip on. I think that would be a really good, like... Yeah, and see, that's I, I would agree with you in terms of the approachable. This one definitely is. This one's the complexity on this one. This is more of your kind of sit down, evaluate type of uh, element. You know, I can see that uh, 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 between the two, and if you like that spicier element, if you like that little bit more pronounced kind of rye hit, yeah, then this one's definitely the way to go on yeah. on that. If you get an opportunity, to get would you did you pick. say there was a like a major price point difference between these two? So th know? this was, I think this was about five dollars more than this, and this is also a seven fifty as opposed to a liter. Oh. so this was like I think this was twenty five. Okay, so this is probably about ten dollars. For the like, right? All, you, you offset the size comparison, yeah. So, so I mean, yeah, I would probably. Yeah, you, you're going to get more out price. of your money for this one. Uh, th this one, uh, you're definitely paying for that that barrel pick. The barrel pick, yeah. And I, I highly enjoy both of them. Both of them would mix well. Um, I, 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 I think this would probably oh, yeah. mix better sure. in terms of its ability to the flavor to be able to last through things. Uh, but regardless, either one is a very satisfying rye drink. Yeah, yeah these are both really good. I think and really for the really price really point, good. like you can't beat it, right? I no, mean, no, you really you know. can't. You know. yeah. So, okay, well, there you go. Hey, thanks for showing up again, Adam. Appreciate it. Thanks for having me. I'm yeah. really excited to be here. Yeah, you look it. <laughs> Spearman. <laughs> Spearman. <laughs> marzipan. Marzipan, marzipan, marzipan. Oh, wait, that's uh, Hercules. But anyways, yeah. uh, thanks a lot again wow. for tuning in. We appreciate it. It's for all bourbon. Have a great one, gang. We'll see you on the next one. See ya.